Hello, today I'll share with you on how to make a granny square, but we'll start this granny square in a round, so in a circle at the center. So to start with, I'll wrap around, as you've seen in the video, like that, and I put my hook underneath a smaller piece and hook the one on top, which is the longer piece, like that. Once I've done that, I'll make it tight. Now I need to make six chains. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six chains. Now we go and connect to that. I think I'll make it bigger, make it 12, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 then we'll go to the first chain where we started and we slip stitch like so now i'll bring the shorter side this way and make a chain and now we need to do 24 double crochets in here starting with this single chain we'll count it as a double crochet and that will be two three four five i'll do 24 and then i'll come back to you so i'm on 23 and this is my 24th so we've ended up with that circle now to slip stitch i take my hook out and i will put it on the first chain this side and turn my work and hook that loop through that and there we go it just joins it nicely and perfect so you can't tell when you go around you will not be able to tell where we joined it that's how why I hook it. I turn over and hook it from there. Now I'll do a chain. But before I go, I'll come back on this first chain and do a double crochet. Now this second roll, we need to do a double crochet and three chains. So one, two, three. Now after that, I need to put my crochet hook in the first double crochet here. On the front loops and slip stitch like so and we form that that is called a picot now we will do a double crochet in the next chain immediately next then we do a double crochet we will do now three chains and we'll slip stitch in the double crochet like so take it out and out again to make another picot we do a double crochet and i'll carry on doing this the same two all the way down to here then i'll come back to show you what we do next so now I've got to the end after making all my picot and that's my job looks like that. Oh, against the white is better. Now I'll slip stitch in the bottom of this chain where we had the double crochet like so. Now I need to go into the middle of that but I'll do a chain there and go back again like so and i'll do five chains or five then while i am in in here i would miss that and i'll go into the next one and do a double crochet like so i'll do five more chains miss this one and go into there and do a double crochet 
I'll do that all the way around and we'll come back to you. So it's five chains. Miss one, double crochet. In the second one. It needs to be in the center of that loop. The picot. In the center of the picot. So like that. I'll go all the way around and come back. So on the last bit where I started on the top, I will now slip stitch. Like so. So that's how it will look like. Now we'll do another thing. The second stage will be making corners. Because this project is to do a circle into a corner. Now, as you can see, where I am here, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 loops. Which means my uh, 12 divided by 3 is 4, or divided by 4 is 3. So I need to make a corner here, then miss 2. Then make a corner here, to a corner here, that will be our third corner, to fourth corner, then we're done. So to do that, I'll start with here. I will do a double crochet. Then I'll do half treble. The reason of these different stitches is to create a height. Then the next one, will be a treble like so now going this side we'll do here a three chain picot like so then I'll do reverse of what I've done here, which is a treble. A half treble. And a double crochet. So now we got that raised a bit. That's our corner. On here, I will do two double crochets. Just that. Then on the next loop also, I will do two double crochets. So now that means we are nearly here. So we need to do a double crochet there. Like so. And now I'll do a treble. Half treble. Then I'll do a treble. Always have treble before the treble. Then I will do a three chain to make a little picot slip stitch. That is our picot. Then I'll repeat the opposite of that by starting with a treble, a half treble, a double crochet. Now we've made another corner. So you can see now. It's beginning to look like we have two edge edge and that and we end up with doing the same this side. That means our circle will become a square. So on these two, to achieve this, remember, we need to do two double crochets. Then two double crochets. Don't make it too tight. Just maintain your your stitches as loose as you normally do them not too tight your tension has to be not too tight otherwise it won't work out then when you get to here do one double crochet then remember we'll do a half treble then we'll do a treble There we go. Then we'll do a three chain. 
Then he pickled a slip stitching. Then we'll do a treble, half treble, and a double crochet. So now you can see, we can see that we have three corners. We just need to create one here. So we do two double crochets. Miss that in the other loop. Do two double crochets. Across there, we do one double crochet. Yarn over to do a half treble. Yarn over. Take one out. Take the other one out to make a treble. We go that. And then we do three chains. We will slip stitch now. And now we do the opposite of what we've just done, which is a treble, a half treble, a double crochet. And we've created that little point of it, just like here. So now we got where we started from one, two, three, four. We just need to finish off now with double crochets here. So we do one and two and again in the next loop one and two. At this point we will slip stitch at the bottom of just before this double crochet like so. So I'll take my hook out. How, how I do this normally I'll make this loop bigger bring my ball of wool through the loop like so to tie a knot or you can cut with the scissors and then do that but let's say if you didn't know you didn't want to finish you want to do another round you could actually just hold it by doing what i've just done so there we go and this loop is you can take it apart to add more more rows so there's our mini square now you could do loads of these in different colors even or you could do, you could do ones that are the center will be different color the second row would have been a different color and this would have been different color as well and when you finish the last one you have different colors or you just do plain like this, make like different color squares. So this may be white, maybe other. And then you, when you come to finish off your project, you join this square to another square and you can make a really lovely blanket. So thank you for watching. If you've liked that, please follow me. So you can see many more of my introductory projects so here's our little cute square bye for now